here's a super simple, you know, quick couple minute walkthrough of a DIY auger incubator. So why do you want an incubator? An incubator is going to keep all of your auger in a nice safe space. It's gonna keep it clean. It's gonna keep it warm. It's gonna keep it a consistent temperature. That's all an incubator really is, is consistent temperature and moisture. Now, I have not dealt with the moisture situation because I haven't had a need to. Uh, but if you're using parafilm and you're worried about your auger drying out, which I am not currently, then you're going to want to add like a tray of water or something else into this rig. Otherwise, it's super straightforward. What I have here is a beverage refrigerator. Beverage, right? And inside, super easy, I have a light fixture. Light fixture. I have a 100 watt light bulb. Then I have a temperature sensor. Do, 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 do. That is connected to an Inkbird temperature sensor. This is currently set to 26 degrees Celsius, which is apparently, according to my thermometer, about 77 degrees Fahrenheit, which is woefully inaccurate, but I'll take it for right now because it's consistent. So, what do I have? I've got a heat controller. Right, you can get these for you know thirty to fifty dollars off of Amazon. I've got a light fixture. You can find one for a desk for like ten bucks. Uh, I've got a hundred watt light bulb, and I've got a beverage cooler. And you can use any other type of refrigerator. I prefer a clear door, so I don't have to open it all the time to take take a look at everything. So there you go. I can fit. Well, I've got about a hundred auger trays in there right now cooking. And so I could probably fit another three or four hundred. <laughs> so I've got plenty of space now. Uh, but anyways, there you go. Quick little DIY incubator. Biggity boom.